The MX Simulator playoffs begin this evening, September 11th, 2024, for the Concord, North Carolina round of what is basically the SMX playoffs in MX Simulator. That is right, folks. First time it is going to happen. We didn't do it last year in MX Simulator, but it will be live tonight on Start Your Systems TV. We'll have some links in the description below for you guys to check out. But the first round of the series has been at least somewhat dropped. It's not going to come out until this evening when the password is released so that the guys can begin qualifying. But there is a lot of cool things to talk about. And this is the first time that the MXS Battlegrounds has stepped up to the plate and ran basically kind of the big series, if you will. They had a world SMX type playoff thing last year, but not quite to this level. So let's jump in and talk about it. Before we do that, I want you guys just to listen because they've got some cool things added to this track that we've never really seen before with the Race Factory track. So let's take a look and listen to this thing right here. Listen to that. That is Lurch, who normally announces the Supercross races in the stadium, doing a little bit of announcing uh, for the in-stadium crowd noise that you guys can hear there. Um, yeah, the MXS Battlegrounds crew, they are pulling out all the stops to make this happen this year. Uh, Race Factor Gaming not doing SMX. So uh, the Battlegrounds crew stepped up and they're going to do it this year. And it's going to be the same players that you know and love that have raced all season long in the Race Factory series now competing in this three-round playoff format. Like I said, it is the SMX playoffs, but in sim. It's going to mimic uh, the playoffs that we see in real life, basically. We're starting off in North Carolina, and then we are going to move into Texas next week and then have the finale at Las Vegas. So basically, you know, a few days late versus the real one, but that just allowed them to have the time to be able to get the tracks ready, uh, make sure that they are completely dialed in for what we can expect to see IRL. And this is going to be a lot of fun because it's the first of its kind that we've ever done it in sim. And we're going to see all the, the key players. Uh, Colby Eaglin enters as the number one seed in the 450 class because even though Brayden Carter and uh, Payson Johnson won the Supercross and Motocross titles respectively, uh, they did not really do so well on you know the other opposite sides of it. Carter didn't really race outdoors that much or very well. Um, and Payson Johnson only did like a handful of Supercross races and then went and won the outdoor title. And we believe Johnson is not going to be competing in SMX, but we're not 100% sure that he did say that he was probably not going to be racing sim anymore after uh, this. Listen to the crowd. You can hear them reacting to me falling down. I mean, they have pulled out all the stops to make this uh, a truly special event for us anyway so we don't think Payson's going to be here but Colby Eaglin who was here all season long uh finished I believe second in Supercross and then third in Outdoors um is the number one seed so he'll have the red plate rolling into tonight and then obviously Carter's going to be back Tyler Lang Seth Shirley now in the 450 class is going to be fun to watch um kind of all the same players that we saw towards the end of Outdoors are going to be ready to go racing here this evening and then in the 250 class Seth Carr comes in off of dominating outdoors and is the number one seed after he finished second in Supercross behind uh, eventual 250 East champion Rasmus Balzer. Shirley, who was the West champion, moved up to 450, so he'll be making his uh, kind of Super Motocross debut, I guess, on a 450. But uh, regardless of which, it's going to be fun to see Carr versus Balzer and, and a lot of other faces in the mix. Man, I'm riding this track terribly. Um, but this is this is going to be a lot of fun and definitely one of those things that if you haven't been tuning in all season long to watch the uh, Supercross Championship or the Motocross Championship in MX Sim, you might want to tune back in for this. We're going to do the same format. We got LCQs to kick off the evening here uh, tonight, starting at 6:30 p.m. Pacific, um, and I think we'll go straight into LCQs off the UID grab, and then uh, I think it's 10 riders in the LCQ. Obviously, it's going to be the top two going through, but I don't know how they're actually going to do it. If Payson is seated in uh, and he is not going to be here tonight, that obviously leaves another open gate potentially. Uh, so maybe they'll have three go through the LCQ. I'm not 100% sure on that whole format of it just yet. Um, but we'll kick off, of course, with the LCQs and then roll into 250 Moto 1, 450 Moto 1, 250 Moto 2, and 450 Moto 2. Uh, I'll be bringing the broadcast action with my co-host, as always, Andrew Wood in the booth with me and we're ready to go racing man this is going to be so much fun to see how this shapes up i mean this track obviously we saw how it raced in real life it was maybe a little bit one-lined i almost feel like it won't be that way in sim just because 
not necessarily the way that the battlegrounds crew built it like it is pretty similar to what it was in real life but i think in sim you just see a little bit more aggression than what we see out of the guys irl and because of that you're going to see some guys going over berms like i just did right there you're going to see some guys um you know pushing the envelope on these high speed straightaways and you know it's been a little bit since we've seen like a true good hybrid race like this because even the um i think they called it the like WSMX World Tour type of thing last year the Battlegrounds ran. They had like kind of hybrid-ish tracks and we only really saw one of the races. We, we tuned in for the Daytona one of that. Uh, but for the most part, it was kind of super crossy. So this is this is hybrid racing. We haven't seen it since, I think they did the MX Sim Cup last in like 2016 or so, somewhere around that. And that was the last time we saw like kind of a hybrid track in the game really tested and put its put it in its paces so we're going to see these guys struggle with setup we're going to see some maybe unfamiliar faces shine through either way like this is this is so unique for mx simulator that we haven't done before and uh it is going to be very interesting to see how it kicks off here tonight and uh the battlegrounds crew like i said they've been working hard behind the scenes it's it's really put all together by jacob hubbard who is obviously a very talented MX Simulator player in his own right, but he's got a ton of people helping him out behind the scenes to make these tracks come together, um, make the whole series come together. But, you know, it comes down to his skill set as a coder and a lot of things that he's done really well that he's been able to include some cool things like uh, crowd noise that we haven't really had before. So when the leader goes down, you're going to hear the crowd reacting to that. Um, and you're going to hear, you know, the flames and the pyrotechnics and stuff like that. You're going to hear Lurch yelling when uh, the gate's about to drop and and all that kind of cool stuff i mean look even this uh, scoreboard in the upper right hand corner of your screen right there has live timing and so uh i'm the only person on the track so it doesn't say behind the leader right there but as i back up you'll see it has time remaining so you can see that going on which you know race factory has a, a live timing pylon but it doesn't you know necessarily always work to that degree and i don't know i i just i'm excited for this because it's a lot of stuff that we haven't had before in sim coming together and and really I don't know. I think maybe just kind of elevating it just a little bit more. Um, you know, SMX, IRL, some people have been either excited or disappointed in it or whatever, but to have it in sim and, and under kind of a new entity, if you will, nothing wrong with what Race Factory's put together over the years, but they just weren't uh, prepared to go to doing it for the SMX playoffs. And uh, Hubbard and his crew stepped up and put this together and so far, it sounds like everyone's pretty hyped for it. Like a lot of people are putting their uh, packs together, ready to go racing this evening. And we're, we're going to see. We're going to see what happens and, and who does well and what we can expect from this championship. Uh, like I said, it's single points tonight. So uh, basically, if someone goes 1-1, they'll walk away with 25 points. And then when we roll into Texas Motor Speedway next week, uh, a 1-1 one -one performance earns you 50 points. So double points and then triple points at the finale, just like it is in the real racing and uh man just it, this is going to be so much fun i'm curious what any of you guys who have watched racing all year long uh are keen to expect from this because uh yeah like if we don't have pace and johnson racing the next best outdoors guy is tyler lang he won the uh mxgp world title this year he finished second in the outdoors just barely lost to payson and he was really good and hasn't always connected the dots in supercross but is this considered supercross i don't know obviously leclerc he is always really really good at almost any format you throw at him he's a supercross champion five-time outdoor champion i think this could really suit his style as well being a little bit more high speed um and then there's you know the rookie and seth shirley we know how fast he is and how capable he is but there, there could be curveballs even someone like colby eaglin who's entering as the points leader um but didn't win a championship yet this year he could genuinely be the best guy for this series so uh i, I don't know which way this is going to go and that's perhaps maybe the coolest part about it is that it is such an unknown with this series and and how it's all going to go and who's going to do well and who might walk away as this champion we got Basically, two weeks from today, we're going to decide a champion, and we're going to get three very interesting playoff races in to mix it up. Um, so excited to see it. Obviously, I'm pretty sure that MX Bikes is putting something together as well, so we'll talk about that in a couple days when they're ready to drop the gate, I think, this Friday. But either way, um, yeah, sim playoffs, man. Catch the fever. This is going to be 
really, really interesting to see how this shakes down. Like I said, start your systems TV on YouTube or Twitch. You guys could follow us over there if you want to watch the action. I know some people over on this YouTube channel have wondered where the broadcasts have been this year. We moved it over there. Just a few things with uh, you know navigating through the copyright struggles of YouTube. A little bit easier to run things on uh, a subsidiary channel instead of running it through the main channel. Um, but it's over there on the YouTubes. It's over there on the Twitch and uh, we hope to see you guys all tuning in tonight, ready to watch some sick battling, sick racing, and hopefully really, really good racing for a championship, no matter which way it falls. 250 class, 450 class. I'm excited, and you guys should be as well. So that is us previewing the 2024 SMX slash MXS playoffs is what they're going to be called. For 2024, the MXS Battlegrounds crew putting it on. Let's go racing tonight, folks. Hopefully you guys tune in, and we look forward to seeing you guys then. So long for now.